You know, the first three words of your book are the three B's, bread, booze, and burrata. The minute I read that, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's a girl after, a woman after my own heart. But then you were like, but I gave it all up. I'm like, what? How? What? How? <laughs> but I am curious, are you able to pinpoint the moment you decided to give up drinking alcohol for good three years ago? Oh yeah, it was very clear to me. Um, I had had another one of these prayer thoughts uh, and I just said, you know, Lord, I just feel like I'd like to stop. I think I'll, I'd like to stop and there's no way I'm going to be able to. So you're going to have to do it because I, I won't be able to. I tried one time with a friend of mine. I think we lasted six hours before we were like, oh, let's drink, you know. Yeah. So um, uh, literally within like 24 hours of saying that little, you know, prayer thought, I went to had a dinner at my one son's house with his friends and a couple other my sons. And, and it was one of those things where you're cooking and having wine and then you're eating and having wine and then you're cleaning up and you're still having wine. And then you're at a big long table playing a board game and you're all having wine. Right. And this is over the course of five or six hours. So I'm just filling up my wine glass continuously. I felt totally fine, completely fine, you know? And I was trying to make a joke about it at the table um, about something. And I, I started to say, you know, in our family, it's a tradition. And I couldn't finish the sentence because I couldn't pronounce the word tradition. And I, and I tried three times and I still couldn't pronounce it. And my son at the end of the table said, oh, that's great, mom, I can't even talk. I was like, oh, in front of all these young men. And I was so embarrassed. And I, I think it was a blip. I don't know if they even remember it. But for me, it was like, not only was it, did I just feel embarrassed that I couldn't see that. And by the way, for the rest of the evening, I felt fine. It was that one little blip. And right. so I thought- uh, It was a know, light bulb. A, yeah, light bulb moment. I was not only embarrassed, but I thought to myself, what is going on in my brain? What's the alcohol doing to my brain that caused my synapses to misfire on that word? Like the, the alcohol is doing, even if I don't think it is, it's doing something to me. God knew this is the way to wake her up to what's going wow. on with her body and you know what the alcohol does and all of that. And it's, I have not had a drink since then. Wow. And yeah, it was really, it was really a prayer. I'm so grateful. It was a really a prayer answer. This Christmas, and I'm so excited to bring this out, you designed a scarf called Wrapped in Hope. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's, people might be listening, but who, whoever's watching on YouTube, oh, you have one too, twinsies. So this gorgeous scarf that was designed by you, um, it's, so it's part of the celebrity designed artisan collection in the World Vision gift catalog, which I have here. I have my catalog, I have my scarf, um, but all the proceeds from the sale of the scarf support World Vision's vital humanitarian work. I think people don't understand. We take clean water, clean running water, uh, electricity, education, um, food for granted. And um, when you've been able to travel and have that privilege, and it is a privilege, it, you know, it really, you understand um, how much the rest of the world is struggling. 86 cents of every dollar at World Vision goes directly to programs, and these programs are completely sustainable. So the World Vision will be in a country, in an area, for 12 to 15 years until it's sure that when they leave, the community can sustain the programs. And so it, it just benefits people for years and years and years to come.